Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'm going to start off with uh, my Lancome Genifique. This is my concentrated serum. And I'm using my little sample size here. I do have the full bottle, but I'd rather go through the sample size. I absolutely love the results that I'm actually getting from um, this serum. This is how it looks here. You can get the full bottle um, on Sephora.com. It's like a hundred something bucks. I actually have it, um, but it is totally worth the money. Um, this is just going to help give your skin more elasticity. It's going to help it look more radiant. It's definitely going to help with any wrinkles or age spots or any type of discoloration or anything that you have on your face um, right now. And it's also going to prevent it from happening. So I like to put this all over my face after I cleanse and tone. Um, and I use the Pixie Glow Tonic uh, Toner for my face because it has glycolic acid, which is amazing for your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna let that serum seep into the skin a little bit and dry. So I'm gonna go on to my eyebrows. You guys already know my eyebrow routine and I have an active video that's live on my channel if you want to see my eyebrow routine. So I'm not gonna spend too much time um, doing my eyebrows or I'm actually just going to speed through my eyebrows here on camera um, so we could get to the foundation. And I need to get my eyebrows threaded so bad, but I'm waiting. I'm going to try to wait like another week before I, I go to get it done. But that's what concealer is for. You can conceal those little tiny hairs and make it look like you have a freshly threaded brow. So right now I'm just using my dip down homemade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my espresso eyeshadow. Um, I like using uh, powder on my hair because it looks a little bit more natural. Well, it looks a lot more natural. And then I'm just gonna clean it up with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. I love this stuff. It's definitely long wearing. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Um, this is a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. So this is definitely going to deposit moisture into the skin and not just sit on the skin. It's actually going to seep into the skin, giving your face the hydration that it needs. It's definitely going to plump your skin as well and make it look more radiant and more supple. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I'm just going to take a little of my MAC Pro Concealer. I'm going to use this as a primer for the eyes. And this will literally help the eyeshadow last all day. This is a Pro Long Wear Concealer, so it definitely prevents any creasing. But at the same time, it's going to get rid of any discoloration that um, you may have on the eyes. Any type of veins, blue or green veins. So for my transition color, I'm just going to use my Pro Studio Powder from BH Cosmetics. And this will just act as my transition color. This is a skin tone powder. And I like to pop this into the crease area because it will help with the transition. So this is what I like to do. And I'm using my Morphe E27 brush. Yo, these brushes are like the bomb.com and super inexpensive. I suggest if you actually are looking for new brushes, you should go with Morphe. Okay, so next I'm going to go into my Tarte Lip in Bloom palette from Tarte by Tarte. And these are the colors here. So I'm going to take this color here. It's called Leader, which is um, a like a reddish brown. And I'm just going to pop this all over the crease and the lid. 
and I'm not using a shader brush just yet because I really want this color to go on semi-lightly. Next I'm gonna go in with my little shader brush. This is a Smashbox um, eyeshadow brush. It's dual. And I'm just going to take some of that color and pack it on the lid. So next, taking the color Rocker, I'm just going to apply it to the center of the lid. Just kind of creating like a halo effect. I'm just going to spritz it with my Fix Plus. And deposit that to the center of the lid. It looks crazy, I know. And next I'm just going to kind of blend out any harsh lines that I see because I really want it to have like a smooth transition. So I'm just kind of going around that shade with the color leader. Okay, so and next I'm gonna take my Essence Gel Liner and this is in number 10, Midnight Paris. Um, it looks like a really dark, ooh, it's very creamy eyeliner. This is my first time using it, so. Just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to wing out my liner. Ooh, this liner is really, really creamy. It's not as black as I expected it to be, but it's still very creamy. And then I'm just going to tight line my eye using my Milani pencil. This is the liquid eye pencil in 01 black. So tight line is just basically taking an eyeliner and running it along your upper waterline. So I'm gonna go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced and I'm just going to coat my top lashes. And I'm just gonna rub off some of the product that's on the wand itself. Okay, so next I'm going to take my Vegas Nail Lashes. Uh, these are in Grand Glamour from Eyelore. So you can get these at Ulta, you can get them at Rite Aid and Target, I believe, or Walgreens and Target, one of the two. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my Milani Conceal in Perfect Foundation. This is a two-in-one um, foundation and concealer. And I'm using the color Tan, um, it's number nine. And so I'm just going to, this is my first time using it, so I'm really excited. I've heard a lot of great reviews um, about this foundation. Um, I actually forgot to go in with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer um, because this is something that I use all the time. It's definitely going to keep my T-zone from getting oily. So I have my uh, wet beauty blender sponge. I'm going to use the belly of this. The actually, the consistency, feeling the consistency with my finger it's like butter. Oh my God, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. Okay, and it's a medium to full coverage foundation, lightweight and oil-free and long wearing, sweat proof and water resistant. So let's see. Let's see what the finish looks like. 
Oh, so this is a great match. Actually, I don't want to use my kabuki brush. I mean, my uh, beauty blend. I want to use my flat top kabuki brush. Let me just put this here. Okay, so off the bat, I'm feeling like my face is burning from the foundation itself. I don't know where the ingredients are, but my face feels like it's burning a little bit. It smells like there's a little scent. There's a scent in here. I don't know if it's like a perfume scent or what, but it has a smell good scent. So I don't know if that's irritating my skin, but I'm, I'm gonna just ride it out to see if it goes away. This side of my face didn't burn like this side. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I have something on my brush that I don't know about. The coverage is beautiful. Oh man, like I really, really like how this foundation is laying on the skin because I was experiencing some texture in this area and like around my mouth but I'm really not experiencing that with this foundation and this is a great color for me okay so next I'm gonna go in with my NARS radiant cream concealer creamy concealer and this is in medium dark one biscuit so I'm just going to put this underneath my eye I like to go in with a wet beauty blender sponge. I'm just using my Fix Plus. And I'm gonna go in. Okay, so next I'm going in with my Sasha Cosmetics powder. And I'm just going to press and roll. And I'm only setting underneath my eyes. I don't want any other areas set. Probably just my chin. Next, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer Chestnut Concealer. And I'm just going to dab a bit around the perimeter of my forehead. And then just a little bit here, a little bit there. So for the blush, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Ultra Blush Palette in Hot Spice. There are some beautiful colors here. So we have the shimmer, we have the matte, um, and then we have the baked. So we have two rows of shimmer, a matte, and then actually, no, we have three shimmers, three mattes, and two baked. So I am going to take... I'm probably going to take this baked one here. Let's see, let's swatch it. 
I'm probably gonna mix. Hmm. Probably gonna mix this this shimmer shade with a little bit of the baked for the cheeks. Let's just test it out. Then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and just kind of blend out the blush just so it looks a little bit more natural, like it's glowing from within. Okay, so for the lips, I could wipe off the foundation, but I don't want to wipe off the foundation. I want to keep it matte and mute it out. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Lip Pencil. This is Chi. This is from the K-Pop Collection. And it's a really pretty, like, nude pink. So I'm just going to line my lips with that. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the Ultra Matte Lipstick. Um, this is the Liquid Lipstick in Chi from ColourPop as well. It's from the K-Pop collection. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 506 brush. This is the M506. It's a little detailer brush. And I'm just going to take some of the Leader eyeshadow and I'm just going to run this along my lower lash line okay and then going back and taking activist which is a deep mocha brown I'm just going to smoke out the outer one-third And then to open up the eye, I'm going to take this white shade here. And I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner. Like that. And then I'm going to go in with the rocker shade. And then on the inner one-third area of the eye, I'm just going to add a little shimmer. Okay, and so next I'm going to go in with my Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Golden by MAC. And I'm just going to put this all around the perimeter of my face. So next I'm going to go in with uh, Bubbly and Dripping Gold. This is from the Anastasia uh, Glow Kit. That Glow Kit. Um, and so I love the combination this one is more like a champagne gold this is more like a frosted champagne gold so just mixing the two together and applying it to the highest points of my cheekbones just gives a really pretty glow I'm gonna bring it down to the cheeks a little bit like that it's intense and you could just go in with your beauty blender if you want to kind of dye it down a bit. And then I'm just going to add a bit of the Ico pencil, the Milani Ico pencil to my waterline. Just a little bit. I'm not even going all the way over. I'm just going halfway to outer half. Because eventually it's going to make its way to the inner corner. So 
Next, to set the face, I'm gonna use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Now this is my first time using this. Um, I've heard a lot of people rave about um, this Dewy Mist, the skin finisher here. Um, you're supposed to shake it really well before you use it. It's a pretty penny, so it better be worth the hype because I'm used to using my uh, Fix Plus here. So I'll definitely let you guys know the difference if I see a difference, you know? So I'm just going to use this box to cover my eyes just so uh, it doesn't make the mascara transfer. I learned this from Jaclyn Hill. Um, the forehead. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me video. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 5,000 likes. So hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up. So yeah, so until next time beauties, be you, be beautiful, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.